everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Pickle, pickle. <laughs> oh. Hello there, little readers. What perfect timing you have. I was just waking up midnight. Hey, do you want to help me wake him up by saying the magic words and then we can all read a story together? Mm. Great. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Sleep free midnight, please. Wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. I said sleep be midnight, please. Wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. Say it with me, sleep, be midnight, please. Wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. <laughs> Little readers, you did it. Midnight's awake. Here we go. Wee. Okie dokie, midnight. Boxy Joxy Plays a Trick by Madhu Natuli, Nahida Esmael, and Samantha Rice. Boxy Joxy was a sly fox. He sold big, fresh watermelons. Watermelons for sale! For 500? Your price is too high, said Rabbit Jabbit. You are asking too much, said Gia Giraffe. Boxy Joxy had a clever idea. I wonder what will happen next. He slid open a big watermelon, scooped out the fruit, and gobbled it up. Do you see? He ate all of the fruit from inside. Then he filled it with water. He took a needle and thread and sewed the watermelon back together. <gasps> Do you see, little readers? He sewed that watermelon shut. He sold his watermelons for a cheap price. Many animals bought from Foxy Joxy. This watermelon has only water in it, complained Funky Monkey. <gasps> Little readers, do you see all the water falling on that other animal's head? Do you know what kind of animal that is? Well, you got what you paid for, said Foxy Joxy. Uh-oh. All of the other animals look pretty upset, don't they, little readers? Oh my. We need to teach Foxy Joxy a lesson, said Ellie Elephant. The animals gathered around and came up with a plan. I have an idea, said Oliver Owl. They took an empty watermelon, stuffed Foxy Joxy into it, and played a game of football with it. Yikes! Oh my! Foxy Joxy was dizzy. He learned his lesson and never cheated again. The story's all done. I hope you had fun with S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Midnight and I sure do love reading with all of you. <gasps> you know what else we would love to read? A special secret message written just by you. So grab a grown-up and ask them to help you write a message for us down below. And hey, before you go, let's read another story together. All you have to do is click that box right there. Let's go! Well, aren't you coming? Come on! Click the box and I'll see you in the next story.